Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Insert Name here, Game Dev, and today we're going to be making the door we made in the previous part open both ways. So if I press E on this door, it will open opposite from me. And if I press E, it will close. But if I go to the other side and press E, it will open. If I go to the other side while it's open and press E, it's going to close correctly and open to the other side. This also works for both rotations or while well, any rotation the door is at. If I press E, it's going to open and close the door correctly. Now this uses the door code I had in the previous episode, but if your door is made with a timeline already, this shouldn't be too hard to tackle on to your door as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, get into the video. Okay, so before we make this door open both sides, we actually need to fix a bug I accidentally created with uh, the previous part. Now, the bug isn't related to code, but the bug is related to the model. Now, so the rotation of the model was wrong. Now, I fixed it in a re-release of the model. Down in the description, uh, you can download this new version of the model. And all you have to do is open up your content browser, go to the content folder and then go to door and then all you do is you just drag these two files back in and so it overrides the door and you should notice the rotation of the door is different that's how you know it worked awesome now that we have that going we can actually go ahead and work on the door so we'll open up our content browser and then we'll go to the bp door and now that we're here i'm just quickly going to select all of these nodes here we're going to press C to comment them. I'm just going to call it door code. Perfect. Now let's talk about how we're going to make the door open both sides. So the idea is that um, this lerp here, instead of this being 90 exclusively, the idea is that we want to change this the rotation from 90 to minus 90 based on what side the player is from the door. Now the problem is we actually need to know what side of the door the player is and we have no information of where the player currently is. So in our blueprints interface let's quickly add an input so that we can actually send the player's location to this blueprint. So here on the event in SAC we're just going to double click on that. Then we're going to go to the right side and click on intact. And then there's going to be, we're going to go to the bottom right to inputs, click add. We're going to change it from boolean to vector. And then the name is going to be player location. Perfect. And we can compile and save that. And now we can close that. Now the problem is that we still don't actually feed in the player location. Like there is input for it but we still don't have the player location in here. To fix that, we actually have to assign the player location in the first person blueprint. So let's open up the content drawer. Then we go to our first person folder, go to blueprint, and then go to BB first person character. Then here in the interact code, we just want to go all the way to the interact uh, event here. And then we just want to right click in the open, type in actor location and then we want to get actor location and then plug in the return value into the player location so what this will do is this will get the location of our player and feed it to the interaction so now we can go back to the bp door and we can even close this first person character and now we have the player location so now we need some way to determine the angle we are from the door so the best way to do that would be by taking our player location and typing in unit and you're going to see there's a get unit direction. You need to pick that and practically what this does is it's kind of like the get forward vector just instead of it being forward it's any rotation we give it. So how this works is it will take it will get the direction from an object to an object and return a vector value. So um, from should not be our player location. We want to get the direction from our door to the player. So to do that, we're going to right click, get actor location. 
And now this will get the actor location of our door. So now we can feed that into the from. Now we can just go ahead and drag in the play location too. And this will get the vector from both of these. Perfect. Now there's still one problem. We have the direction from the player to the door, but we still don't know relative to the doorway is. We need to get the front of the door to be able to determine where he is. So to do that, we're going to right click and do get actor. I believe actually we can just type in actor uh, front or forward. Yeah, get actor forward vector. This will turn the forward vector. And now we need some way to mash these together to actually get the result we want. And for that, we'll just drag off the return value of this get unit direction and do a dot product. Now what a dot product does is it takes these two vectors and it converts it into a readable value. And based on this value, we can see if the player is in front or behind the door. So we'll just connect this get actor forward to the bottom. And to demonstrate how this works, I'm just going to go ahead and drag off this and do print string. Make sure it's not connected to the duration, make sure it's connected to the end string. And then we're going to drag this all the way here to the event interact and quickly connect that. Then we're going to compile and save. Then we're going to hit play. So if I press E on this door, you can see it's minus 0.7. And if I move around it, it is in the minus. This means I'm currently behind the door. Now if I go this side and I press E, now it's just positive numbers. And so practically what this means that if we're in front of the door or at least in a positive angle from the door, like these angles, then we can interact with the door and push it that way. But if we're behind it, it will be a negative value, and so we have to push it the other way. So, positive means we're in the front of the door. So, to make code that works with that, we're just going to delete this print string, connect back the branch. Then from this dot product, we're just going to do a greater equal. And if this value is zero, or if this value is greater or equal to zero, it's a positive value and we're in front of the door. So all we then have to do is we just have to drag off this uh, boolean and do a select float. And so if this value is true and it's positive, it, we, we will call A. But if it isn't, we will call B. So we'll select between these two. So A should be minus 90, I believe, and B should be 90. So if um, we open the front door from the front, it should do a minus 90 rotation. If it is from the back it should do a 90 rotation and then we can just plug that into the lip now let's go ahead and test that if we compile and save and we hit e on the door so yeah it pushes our direction so quickly what we want to do is just replace these two so the first one should be 90 and the second one should be minus 90 and we can compile and save and if i go now and i press e it should open the different direction perfect so, okay, yeah, that is a bug we're going to talk about now. But you can see if I press E from this side, it works. Now, the bug you saw there happens because when we're actually updating this, the problem is, right, when we open it, we want to open it to the new location. But the moment when we close it, we don't want it to close from the new calculated location. We want it to close from its previous location. So the plan is that we want to update the angle only when we open the door, but not when we close the door. To do this is pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and convert all these. So I'm going to select the select float and everything, including this get actor location here at the bottom. So all these down here, and we're going to right click them and we're going to collapse to a function. This function is going to be called a uh, set door angle door open angle i believe would be a better name so this will set the angle the door has to open to now we're going to go to the right side here in the details panel the input should be player location 
and we'll delete the float output because we're not going to delete that or the need that you're going to see the return value turns red you just want to hold alt on your keyboard and left click perfect and then we're going to move this to the flip-flop and then move that into the a so that this value only updates when we're um opening the door now still this isn't working we have to go open open this up and then we just quickly want to move the set door angle and return node up so it just looks a bit cleaner it's gonna select both of them press q to line them up okay now the first thing we need to do is the select float we want to assign this to a value so we're going to drag off this return value and promote to variable not local variable you want to promote to variable okay if you do that we're going to call this op uh, door open angle and you just want to go to the right side and set it to private now we're going to move this up just before the return node and connect that and then also connect this to the set door open node just going to select these top and press Q to line them up right here. Just going to move these at the end a bit so that they also look cleaner. I'll just move these up. And that's how I'm going to uh, leave it for now. Yeah. Uh, actually, wait. I'm going to just disconnect this two pin. And I'll right click and type in player location. So get player location. And this will just read the variable from here but just like in a cleaner way and uh, yeah this is the entire function I'm just going to go ahead select all of these and press c to comment this code and uh, i'm just gonna comment it calculate door angle based on a dot product so this will calculate the angle the door has to open uh, at. So let's go back to the event graph and we still have one more problem. Um, this value uh, needs to be assigned because uh, it's not assigned to anything now. We want to drag our door open angle from the left side in and use get door open angle and drag that into the B. And uh, so this value will only update when we open the door but closing the door will mean it will close from its previous position. Okay, so then the final thing I think I want to do is just want to double click here on the player locations uh, pin and reroute it. Let's make it look cleaner. And yeah, um, I'll just move this also down a bit. And this is the final code, so let's go quickly test it. If I hit save, I go up here, press E, it opens that way. If I go to the other side and press E, it closes and it goes to the other way. So it has to close in the correct way before it opens the different way. So yeah, this is fully working. Um, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit dislike if you didn't. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Good night, everybody.